Hello, my name's Katie, and I'm glad you're here. Today, we have Copacetic Cosmetics. Super exciting. If you are unfamiliar with Copacetic Cosmetics and their subscriptions, they are an indie makeup brand that you can just buy straight from. So if you see anything you like in here, you can just get it. You don't need to be subscribed. Um, but they do offer currently three, but one is going away with the end of December. But I'm letting you know because you have until December 6th to get December's box. So you could get the last box of it. I don't know what's in it. Spoilers um, have been released, though, so you can check it out. Um, but anyway, they have three different subscriptions. The one I have here today is the Cutie Box, which is $10 a month plus um, like tax and stuff. Uh, you get one single pressed eyeshadow, a mini nail product, polish, uh, and a mini lip product plus a free surprise sample. So you get four items with that one. Then they have the Convert Box, um, the Copacetic Convert, which is $40 a month. With that, you get a four shadow quad, a full size lip item, and a full size nail polish. The box they're uh, not doing anymore is the Claw Box which is where you get three nail polishes a month, and that one was 20 bucks a month. But again, you can still get December's last call, um, and you can also get the Cutie and the Convert for December too, but there's less time sensitivity with those because you can always get January, you know. But you have till the 6th to sign up for December. Spoilers are already up, I believe. Um, but anyway, with the Cutie and all of them, you get to pick what you get. So there are four shadows, that you can pick from each month, two lip products, and then three nail polishes. Obviously the Convert gets all four eyeshadows because they're getting the quad, but then you can choose the lip or the nail. And then the Claw Box gets all three nail polishes and no eyeshadow or lip. It's all on the website. It's pretty, you'll get it. Anyway, super excited. We have November's bag here and uh, let's, let's open it up. All right, so we're all opened up, everything's set. So let me start with the eyeshadow. So you could have chosen between, uh, let me make sure I've got all the info here, um, Camellia, a rosy tan matte with white shimmers, Pieris, a warm toned brown with red slash orange aurora, Primrose, a neutral toned sandstone metallic, or Ranunculus, a deep medium tone brown matte. So it's a nice neutral quad this month. And I went with Pieris. Let me get my gross thumb out of there. So this is the warm toned brown with red orange aurora. Let me give it a swatch. Very pretty. Nice. Oh, nice. So there it is. It's kind of similar to um, my skin tone a little. You can see it when the light hits it. Nice. Nice feeling, feels a little textured in the pan and then smooths out to like a nice, pretty shiny metallic. Yeah, I can like it, I can dig it. It's very, it's a very orange, it's not quite copper, right? But it is very orange, if you think of it as a neutral, it's a very orange neutral. Um, but I wouldn't call it a neutral orange, if you know what I mean. Um, I like it, it's very light copper, I think it's really pretty, I think it would go with what I'm wearing today, if you're interested. Ear fleek video coming up soon. Sneak peek. Um, oh, shit. Ignore the cursing, everyone, including my family, especially them. Um, nice. All right. Cool. I'll have to add it to my uh, my little rainbow of colors that I got going on. That needs to be organized. Oh my gosh. Let me know if that's interesting to you. All right. So that's what I chose for eyeshadow. Next up, we've got the nail polish. You could have chosen something called Leaf Piles, which is a peach apricot glitter bomb with gold aurora. It sounds all right to me. Uh, plum Frost, a deep plum crelly, so like creme jelly polish, or Umber Embers, a warm toned red to brown thermal polish with orange and red multi-chrome flakies. So I chose Umber Embers, just because I wanted to try out a thermal, pol a thermal polish. I've never used one of those before. So this is it. You get five milliliters, this little cutie size, which I feel like is a good testing size. Right? So let me see if I can find something to uh, swatch this on. Just a minute. All right. So here it is, swatched out. 
You can see the little flakies in there, and I'm interested to see how it works as a thermal polish. But I was really excited about the uh, well, I love a multi-chrome flaky. You can see them pretty well in the bottle, so there's a good a good number of them in there. Yeah, excited to see a thermal. I mean, you know, do they do anything? I don't know. Um, but excited to try. Keep you updated. Excited about that. Next up, final official item on the roster was a lip product. So you could have chosen between something called Beaver Moon, which was a deep blue liquid lipstick, or something called Susurrus, an English toffee-flavored terracotta lip gloss. And I went with the terracotta lip gloss. Just because uh, I wasn't quite feeling uh, in a blue lipstick mood. Although this is a good time to try it. I liked their brown lip liquid lipstick formula. Um, I don't know if it was liquid. I think it was just, never mind. I liked their other brown lipstick though. Um, but I wanted to try the lip gloss and English Choppy sounded good. Let me uh, try it on. I'll wipe off what I've got. All right. All right. All right. Ooh, it smells really good, like toffee. It's, I also think this little, this packaging is cute. All right, there we go, very orange. Oh my gosh, and like, pretty comfy. It feels like a newer gloss formula and that it's pretty thin. And not too sticky, um, so but you can it feels nourishing, it feels good on. Um, but very very pigmented, very orange. How do we feel about it? I kinda like it. I like I like a, a warm lip. Um so excited, excited about that. Excited to see how this wears. Can't stop looking at it. Alright, there we go. So those are the three official things. Let's see what the the surprise sample is. It is their whipped body butter, which I've heard really good things about. And the flavor, I was about to say like shade, classic, classic mistake. Uh, hot apple pie. Very excited. Let me get this open and smell it. Okay guys, it smells so good. It's like a hot apple cider, like a spice cider. Let me rub it in into the glitter hand. Oh, it feels really good. Um, they're the cake like the marble cake body oil that they sit in the last box has been smelling very good also Yeah, this smells great. Just exactly like you would expect a hot apple pie or like hot apple cider to smell Perfect for the winter. Yes, I think this is a, a great just general box nice for like the transition into colder fall, right? Um, like the, the end of fall into winter because we've got this which brightens it up, but it is a very folly color We've got Pieris, let me get it out again, I put it away, um, which is a nice, I think this would be great holiday time because it does have like that really nice, you know, metallic edge to it. It's a little, it's a little different, it's a little interesting, right? But it's not in your face. I love colors like that, they're like, oh, that's kind of, that's interesting, but you don't, but it's not loud. Um, does that say about me? Probably something. Um, I'm excited to try the polish. I think this is a great, especially the darker brown part of it being thermal, like what it looks like now. Um, I'm looking at a picture of it, orange, and I think that, that could also be interesting. And then, yeah, like in the color. I think this is a pretty good box. Man, that smells so good. Yeah, um, feels great too. Again, all of these, you, if they're interesting, you can check them out. Um, or, you know, totally not, if that's not your vibe. Um, but thank you for tagging along for this unboxing. I'll see you around. Again, the uh, Airflake video is coming soon, so check that out if you're interested. It's a little low-key, but what, what can I say? It's December. Thank you. See you around.